Well, we're finally ready to get started doing our front cover. So haven't done anything on the outside yet. So to start, you're going to get this piece of paper, designer paper from the 12 by 12 collection. And my measurements are seven and a quarter wide by eight and seven eighths inches long. So seven and a quarter, eight and seven eighths. Go ahead and ink your edges. I have tape on mine since I use tape. I am going to go ahead and place that. Then you're going to get another piece. This is from the eight by eight collection this piece and it's going to be six and seven eighths inches wide by seven and three quarter inches long seven and three quarters inches long but go ahead and get this one down, cut this paper out, but we're not gonna fix this yet. Next, you're going to get this paper from the, this is 12 by 12 collection. So you're gonna cut a piece out that's exactly the same width as the, this top piece. So with this one, just find, you know, make a little tick mark so they're exactly cut the same width. And this, I believe, is three quarters of an inch. I always have to go on this side. Yeah, three quarters of an inch wide. And cut that, ink those edges too. So that's going to be going down here this is going to be going somewhere up here like that. You don't have to put those down yet. Then you are going to build this. Now these are just using oops, the stamps from the 12 by 12 paper. I just cut the stamps out just like that. And I picked pink, blue, pink. So pink, blue, pink, whichever ones you like. Then what you're going to do is put all the stamps on black cardstock. And you're going to just have a tiny bit of reveal in between them. So you can see on this one, there's just a tiny bit of reveal in between each of the stamps. Once you get all three stamps glued down, you're going to cut it. So you're just going to have your stamps, three stamps on the black cardstock. Then you are going to go to the eight by eight collection with these has this paper. So this is the eight by eight collection. Then you are going to mount this black card stock piece that had your three stamps. You're going to mount that with a tiny bit of reveal around it. I'm just showing you this, this is the only paper I have left. So you're just going to have a tiny bit of reveal all the way around. So far so good. Then you're going to mount it on black cardstock again. So you can see there's, there's the stamp, the little bit of reveal of the first black cardstock. Here's the first black cardstock. Then you're going to mount it 
on this checkered paper from um, the 8x8. Eight eight. Then you're going to mount it again on black cardstock. Mine comes out to about, well, it's 1 and 7 eighths inches wide once it's totally um, finished by... Oops, six and a quarter. Oh, a little bit more than six and a quarter. I mean, yours isn't going to be exactly the same as mine, but it should be around there. So do that. I think that looks real pretty when you have it double matted with the black. The black just makes it pop. So you're going to make this. This is going to go on the side over here. Then, this, this beast, <laughs> what you're going to do, or what I did, I used this um, journaling card, whatever you call this card. I cut this out and then I cut this, this circle, the oval part. Oops. Oh my gosh. Can you, where, where is my cam? I can never find my camera. Let me move this. You're going to cut this out is from the 12 by 12 and then you're going to go around and cut this oval out. So what you will have, get all this stuff off, you will have this oval card. Make sure you go around the leaves here so you don't cut those off. Then what I did is I mounted it on black cardstock, but just like a half an inch all the way around. So I kind of made like a little frame. So it's a half an inch all the way around. So that gives us this black border around this card, this four by six card. Then I mounted this whole piece on this paper, which is from the 12 by 12. And I just made it with like the, the I just lined it so the reveal is like two little boxes all the way around. Two boxes here, two boxes here, two boxes down here. And I put that on black cardstock. So I put this paper, this paper from the 12 by 12 on black cardstock. This piece measures four and, what is that? Four and a quarter plus an eighth. Four and a quarter plus an eighth. And this is six and a quarter. So my idea originally was, is to put a photo in here. You don't have to do that, you can just Cut out your card and, and use that image if you want. Or put another image behind it. Let's see. What did I have here? Well, let's just say something like this. This isn't the right one, but you can put another image in there. Like that. Keep it simple. Um... Something like that. 
that would be real simple and that actually looks that actually looks pretty pretty good then I cut this little bit out which is from you know where it's from it's from oh there's this guy too it's from here from this page right there just cut that out right there I did a lot of cutouts from this I cut out this I cut out some of these I, I just kind of fussy cut a bunch of stuff out from this page doesn't mean I'm going to use it all I just cut out a bunch of stuff so but this one's from there so what I was going to do with mine I was going to adhere this to the bottom here and then I cut out this little guy I think well it's not from this one but <laughs> There's a bunch of these you can cut out from multiple places. I cut out this guy and I thought, I'm just gonna tuck him behind here like that. So that gives us more, looks like sweets, pastries. So that was gonna be at the bottom. Don't have to commit to all of this right away because I just have it open and I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> but at least get this base, get this base build, and then you can put it here and we can, once we get our other paper underneath, we can figure out what we're going to do with it in a little bit. So get this done. Get this done. Cut this piece out, and then I'll meet you all back. So this is basically how these pieces are going to fit. So there is an eighth of an inch reveal from the striped paper to the background paper. So eighth of an inch all the way around. So you get that down, eighth of an inch, obviously not down here, eighth of an inch there. Then you're going to put this piece so it has an eighth of an inch reveal down below like that. So you have a little bit of gap in between this paper and this paper. This is going to be about one quarter of an inch down from this striped paper. So it's going to be about a quarter of an inch down. And I always have to quarter of an inch down so about there. Oops. Your stamps are going to have the same reveal as this on the side here. And I just kind of centered this with this. They're not exactly the same height, so just kind of center this guy with this guy. So that's going to be like that. So far so good? Then you are going to make this piece. It says Cafe Parisian. Again, where did I get this from? I got it from um, I got it from this card. K 
Cafe Parisian right there. I just cut this out and then I use my scallop puncher to, to round the corners. So when I cut it, maybe I should just, I hate to cut this one out because that's, that's the only card I have left. But basically you are just making a square. You are cutting out this and making a square that is going to be three and a quarter inches long by one inch wide. Three and a quarter inches long. Is that what I said? No. One, what did I say? What did I say? Three and a quarter inches long by an inch wide. And then you're going to just make that, it's going to be a square. And then you're just going to use your scallop punch on the sides. Do you guys need me to show you that? I'll just cut out a piece of black cardstock and, and show you what I mean. So let's say this is your Cafe Parisian. You cut it out, you centered it. So this is your Cafe Parisian. From here, cut it out and just made it, you cut it out and just made a rectangle. It's all centered, everything is centered. Then you, if you have a scallop punch, you just punch the four corners. If you don't have a scallop punch, just um, use a, a corner rounder, a small corner rounder. Now this one, since it's kind of narrow, it, it's going to give you those round little things right there. You just kind of cut those off. Kind of, I'm not doing a very good job. But just kind of round them off. Just cut those little nubs off. So there's your little your little cafe Parisian. Then you're just going to mount it on black cardstock. And what I did is I just glued it and then I fussy cut it around the edges. And I got my little black reveal like that. Okay, I have a dilemma. I just put this paper on because I hadn't used it. This is stunning. If you have this paper with you and you try it on, you'll go, that is so pretty. But does it work? I guess anything works because all these papers work so well together. But does this work? It's just so beautiful. I mean, it looks so Parisian. <laughs> but then let's go to our original design. I just put on some repositionable tape. Now let's see if I can even get it off and go back to our original paper. So if you do use this um, paper, the flowered paper, it's cut to the exact same size as the striped paper. So then we go back to the stripes, which was the original design. Oops. Put that in here back in here somewhere. And that. And this. And 
and that little square chipboard element um, with some black cardstock behind it. If I can get that back. So then there's this. I can't get that back together. Which looks good. It just, it looks good too. Not very as busy. And it's probably the safer of the two papers. And my husband said this one was his favorite. But I'm just stuck. That, that looks good too. So you guys have options. Do you like this safe, simpler one? Or do you like the bold, flowered one? Which is pretty bold. It's pretty bold. And when you see this paper in person, if you have it with you, you will go, oh dear, that is it is gorgeous. What am I going to do with that paper? Do I just not do anything with it? Or do I do something like this? So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So this is the final cover. I ended up using the flower paper from the 12 by 12 collection and I just put it on top of my stripe paper and I actually have a little bit of that salmon colored reveal from the the orange stripe paper on the sides that I thought looked nice added my cafe Parisian sign down there and at the bottom just added that a little strip saying the best things in life are sweet of course mounted on black cardstock and then just added these little fussy cuts down in here and added this card. I thought this card looks a little le less busy than the other one. So I like that one as my holding piece till I get a photo in there. But that was the final, my final front cover. <laughs>